Okay, we're going to end today's video lecture series with um, two more examples of how to solve a um, inequality and graph it on a number line. So in the first example, we want to start off by adding 5 to both sides of that inequality. So we'll get 2 times the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than um, 8. And then we'll divide both sides by 2. So now we have the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 4. And now we use the rule with inequalities that says that um, if the inequality is less than something, then it's, uh, it has to satisfy both the fact that, that x minus 4 is bigger than negative 4 and less than 4. And now Finally, we'll add 4 to both sides, or to all, all sides of this inequality, and we get that x must be, between, must be strictly greater than 0 and less than 8. So when I graph this on a number line, we'll have 0, here's uh, 8, let's say that's 4, here's negative 4, here's negative 8. The solution set is going to be a set of all points x, such that x is greater than zero and less than eight. And it's a strict less than, so I'm using open parentheses there. Now in the second example we have uh, the absolute value of 3x minus 3 over 4 is greater than or equal to 3. And so we're going to start off by multiplying both sides of this inequality by 4. That'll allow us to simplify this down to the absolute value of 3x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 12. Um, so multiplying by a positive number isn't going to change <coughs> that inequality. Um, so mul multiplying by 4 is just kind of simplifying things a little bit. And now we need to apply the rule that if the absolute value is greater than a number, then it's going to be an either or statement. So it's either um, 3x minus 3 is bigger than or equal to 12 or greater than or equal to 12 or 3x minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 12. So we're going to have two different um, solution sets on the number line. In the first case, if you add 3 to both sides, you get that um, 3x is greater than or equal to 15. So x must be greater than or equal to 5. In the second case, when you add 3 to both sides, you get that 3x is less than or equal to negative 9, so x is less than or equal to negative 3. And now to graph our solution set on the number line, we're going to have, um, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. Um, so first, x greater than or equal to 5 is all points to the right of 5 on the number line. And since it's greater than or equal to, I'm going to use a square bracket at 5. And then all the points that are less than or equal to negative 3 are the points to the left of negative 3 on the number line. And again, use a square bracket to note the fact that you're including the endpoint in there. So this is our, this is our solution, and this is the uh, solution graphed on the number line.